And it's time for your Gianna Volpe Report, brought to you in part by Village Overhead Door in South Hole, by the Crazy Fork in Mattatuck, by the Duncan Inn in Jamesport, and by the Peconic Cellar Door in Peconic. Now, before we go any further, Gianna Volpe looks fabulous today. Oh, why, thank you. She's wearing this really nice, colorful dress with, like, I guess those are roses, right? My, yes, my godmother made this. Very nice. Um, black pumps. And I said, so... Eight o'clock in the morning, a dress and pumps. What's going on? And she said, "Why is there something wrong with it?" <laughs> yeah, that's exactly how I sounded. She did. It was like really, really angry. I said, "My godmother made this." Yeah, she said. And you said, said "I'm not arguing that." She said, "She said, my god, my, my godmother made it. What's it to you?" <laughs> yeah, what's it to? You? Maybe that's what you heard. My godmother, Ramona Volpe, who works for Beckton Dickinson. Who? Beckton Dickinson, they, they're a, me, a major medical um, supplier. Oh. Uh, she, she, I think she develops needles. Like really? for taking blood and stuff. Oh, like I, I have experience with those. And actually, you would, you would know about Beckton Dickinson if you've ever gone to a doctor's office and you see... Oh, that's the BZ red. Product? Yeah, you see the yeah. red Sharps containers. Yeah. That's Beckton Dickinson. They have... I remember they had robots that... Don't they also make thermometers? Yeah, they make all, all sorts, sorts of stuff. stuff. Okay. Oh, yeah. Just oh, checking. Yeah. So she's brilliant, and she makes her own clothes. Great. Right. She she could do, like, you know, she could be, like, a designer. She, oh, I oh I know it. I wanted I wanted to make a Facebook for her to do, like, one of a kind. However, the yellow frame sunglasses on top of your head doesn't really go. I know. Everyone hates my sunglasses. What, they're you really from, need a Ray-Bans. They're from Hogan's Beach. They're from... Who? Where? Hogan's, Hogan's Heroes? Beach, Hogan's Beach down in Clearwater Beach, Florida. Oh. Which is near where the Mormon or where the Mormons are? Mormons are in Utah. No, no, not Mormons. The Scientologists. They're in LA. They are also in Florida. They're all over the place. Their their headquarters or whatever is down there. We need to like rope into one area. I'm know? see I'm just saying. Oh yeah, I was what I was gonna say. Yes, what were you going to say? The reason why I'm wearing my dress... Yeah, I was going to say, well, why are you wearing a dress? Because I do not want to drive back to Southampton now that I'm here, because I'm going to Mattituck tonight for the Revolution Number no. 9 Variety Series, the August edition. We've got Robin Sidor playing. Um, Robin is a phenomenal guitarist who just came back from Australia, where Ali Shaper of Peconic Cellar Door was. Robin's going to be playing the grand opening party on the 19th at Peconic Cellar Door on Peconic Lane. And I think we're going to pass the hat for them tonight, Allie and Robin, because I want to help the grand opening party be the best that it can be, you know? Mm -hmm. So Robin will be headlining tonight. Free music, free <coughs> live music <coughs> in Mattituck, Revolution Number no. 9 Variety Series at the Crazy Fork. Uh, Robin Sidor, Ghost Orchid, which is a, a folk trio. Uh, John Nagel, who we've had on the show here. And Charlie Karens. Uh, Maggie from Lovely and Haircutters will be back. We met her. She, Yeah, she's awesome. She was up here. And she's uh, a, definitely a crowd favorite. She's got a lot of lot of soul. And uh, who else is playing tonight? Yeah, Lisa Dabrowski is going to be oh, doing... Oh, Lisa. You should come out tonight, Bruce, and here's why. Why should I come out? Because Lisa Dabrowski is going to be dressing up as Nancy Sinatra tonight, if I'm not mistaken. Really? She has an awesome she's, Marilyn Monroe, she's by the gonna way. Do, she's going to do the whole get-up. She's really good with costume. Yeah. Really, I mean, Lisa has that, that, that performer's thing. Yes, know? for sure. I've known this for a long time. And... and, and the other thing with Lisa is she's like there isn't a ride out there that she's not like lo in love she, with. She go you, the thing about Lisa is she really goes for it. Oh yeah, you know, no matter what it is. Go to a fair or an event with Lisa Dabrowski is dangerous if you don't like those rides. Oh, I love those rides. I mean, I me and Lisa would be just on the carousel. Woo! Well, I, I like, actually be like every year. Be like, like freshmen and spring break. For the for the last ten years, she's been trying to get me on go on rides with her at, the, at various fairs. There's like she wanted me to go on. The, she wanted me to go on the Ferris wheel with her last year at the uh, at the Mattatuck Strawberry Festival. Uh -uh, didn't do that. Bruce, I did that Bruce, once. Huh? I, I when I do that, I back it up to when the um, fireworks are about to happen. No, 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 no. no. Oh yes, 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 no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, 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 no. Yes, yes, yes. Watching the fireworks from the top of the Ferris wheel at the Strawberry Festival is one of the 
hundred greatest joys of the of the East End. <laughs> you should write a book on that, Gian. Yeah, a hundred greatest joys of the East End. No. no. I, I actually I actually I actually consented to go on a carousel with around. her last year. First time in years. And I was you see those hamster balls? Yeah, you said you were going to go in there. I was going to go in those with her. I was, well, I'm not going to go in it alone. Because what if I get hurt? Oh, wait, you go in with someone else? Yeah, you can do that. They're big enough. Will you go in with me? Oh, he's thinking about it. He's thought about it. I don't know. He'd go. He'd go. I don't know. But these like these are the these are <laughs> okay. Steve, these are the biggest balls I've ever seen. That's I had a dollar for every time I heard said. that. <laughs> Oh God! I almost would prefer talking about nuclear war. Two years, two years ago, we did. I did a remote from the Mattatuck Strawberry Festival. They hauled out these hamster balls for the first time ever there, and I spent like ten minutes talking about these things. Man. Poor Gabrielle, and you're still poor, on the air. Huh? Yeah, poor Gabrielle, the kid sitting here in the studio oh, listening, oh, to, man. To engineering the remote, and 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 she's like, she's blushing. She was as red as her hair. <laughs> Like She's I've fine. never seen, I've never seen a guy with three balls before. <laughs> yeah, or look at that. That thing is big enough. Like two guys can stand in that. Wow, <laughs> that's <laughs> awful. Ah, uh, morning well, radio. Uh, did I tell you about Darlene Dra uh, Daggett? Did we tell you about the 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 gala that we went to? What gala? At the Maureen's Haven Lobster no, you didn't. Bash. No, you didn't. It was. Did you so, and Stephen go to that? Yes, it was so touching. I wore this dress. Oh, you, I okay. wore this dress, and then I got we we got a picture taken by Randy Dodona, who was doing like the the step and repeat, and then I went and sat down with like my first plate of you know salami and gabagol and and all that. All stuff. the antipasto. One of everything, I think. One, oh, you got him, yeah. you know. That's how I do it. And then um, this other guy was like. You with the dress. I want you over there to take a, to for the independent. He wanted to do a picture. <laughs> of me. I was like, okay. So you're in I the independent good. too, huh? I'll be in the independent. Can I, I you think. believe that Gianna uh, didn't refuse to have her picture taken? Oh, what a surprise! I'm so surprised. <laughs> you know, because Gianna no, no, is so. No. But Gianna is so shy and retiring, Steve. I mean, you know. Sometimes I can be. And not even shy in retirement. I can get um. This is like, like okay, when she had the picture, this, of, but she did the lovely, selfie of her on the beach in L.A. in a two piece. There's this lovely young woman that works. Said she did the, the selfie of her up on the roof the following week, making snow snow angels. <laughs> I just posed for a picture. So there's this lovely young woman that works in the kitchen at a mono. So yesterday, I'm I'm just getting to work and I'm um, setting the bar up, and I'm doing the ice in the back, right? So she says to me... Um, what do you do with ice in the back? Y y you fill up the, the ice bins. Oh, okay. I didn't know. For the drinks. Oh. You know, because that's where they come from. Yes. Yes. I, yes. That means uh, I have a liquor because license. Because I tend bar. And so she's, she asks me, what do you do when you're not here? Right? So she starts, <laughs> off, she starts off with my favorite question because it takes like 17 minutes to unravel... Okay, on Monday I'm here, on Tuesday I'm here, on Wednesday I'm here, Thursday morning I'm here, Thursday night I'm here, blah, 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 blah. And then she's like, where do you live? And, and, and then she told and where do you, and, and, and what do you, and she, she gets to like the fifth question in a row. Mm -hmm. What did that, Adam say? Get to work. No, Adam was Adam didn't get there yet. But I, I was like. Cause I'm, I didn't really, I wasn't really feeling it ready. You know, I didn't really want to talk yet. I was, I was, it's like in the morning when you just had your coffee. Like I just got into work. Well, I'm setting up feeling, the, yes. yeah, yeah. yeah, I haven't had my coffee yet. So am I. But, um. Luckily for me, no one else is awake when I get Finally, up. like the fifth question, I snapped. I, I was like. <laughs> no, I said, wait, wait a minute. Whoa, well, whoa, 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 whoa. Gianna Volpe snapped. Oh, come on. Steve, aren't you as surprised as I am? I've never all seen right. any kind First of violence. First of all, and I quote, "I ain't made it. What's it to you?" <laughs> I did not say it like that. Okay, so what I no, what I said was, I, I go, I did not I say go, it like that. I go, where do you live? What do you do? What what is this? You have to say, you have to say, what are you writing a book? Uh, yeah, you know, right. She says, yeah, so we'll or, skip this or, chapter. Or do you work for yeah, the FBI and, or, you know. Well, then, but she came back. A I, Mueller investigation? I came back. <laughs> I came back and she said, well, you know, Gianna, I just like to know a little bit about the people that I work with. 
And I said, yeah, I, because when, you know, as soon as I walked away, I felt like the biggest jerk on the beach. And so I was just like, yeah. I, I said, and she said, you know, I just wanted to know who I'm working with. And I said, I understand that. I appreciate it. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have snapped at you. Don't ask so many questions next time. Yeah, yeah. spread I mean, it out over the day. We got all yeah. day. Yeah, we, we got, got all day, day to go through this. We're gonna stuff. be here till like ten. So. Yeah. And, then, and then Gianna can tell. And then Gianna can tell you. So you're good and jealous. I live east of the canal. You know. <laughs> On a, golf course. <laughs> on a golf course in Southampton. No, I, I try not to. I Sorry. have a view of the bay. <laughs> I try. Sorry. Both it's bays. Okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> I go to the Canal Cafe for my lobster rolls. Yes. <laughs> I shop at Schmidt's Market. Do you really? I don't know. I've only been in there once. I, they have good lobster biscuit here. Schmitz. I've never, I don't know. Katinka Market. I do. Katrinka's? Uh, That's it, good. Yes. Victor. I love him. I work an event with him. I'm afraid uh, of asking, though. I have worked a why an did event I ask? with him every August. I'm still trying to figure out why I asked. four years. Oh, because my son used to go to Schmitz regularly when he worked in the post office across the street. Did he go to the Katrinka? No, he liked, he was very partial to Schmitz. Uh, I don't know why, but he was. Thing. Yeah. I don't know. I want to try. I can't, apparently, things. postal workers in Southampton Village, which is, you know, it's on Windmill Lane. Mm-hmm. Are very partial to Schmitz across the street. Oh. Maybe they get a discount. Maybe. I don't know. He never they told get, me. He never offered to bring anything discount. home for pops either. You know, <laughs> funny how that works, Steve. What? I said he never offered to bring anything home for pops either. Funny how that works. Aww, oh, he probably on. bought you something and just didn't make it all the way back. Yeah, well, yeah. probably got devoured between uh, between between um, well between the post office and East Quag. Yeah. Yeah. You ever see that commercial for McDonald's where the, the guy buys the three meals? This is a it's a new era. Every man for himself, Bruce. <laughs> Every man changed, for himself, you know, but you got to house I'm, them. Can you believe she just cut me off like that? Yeah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't know. I was going to tell you I'm about so the QVC, sassy. the QVC former uh, QVC vice president who uh, what spent one hundred and fifty dollars, one hundred and fifty thousand dollars to be on a uh, a high end uh, dating website. And you, she got. Is it one for like sugar babies? Those are very popular now. No, no. This this woman is sixty two years old. Oh, okay. And 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 oh, and, from, and judging from the picture, she should should have no trouble getting a date. But they were sending her people who were wholly inappropriate. Like guys, like probably say like Stephen and me. <laughs> I take offense. Like though. guys on QVC. Well, no, but uh, you know, like lower. lower and now, lower, and if you call in the next guys. fifteen minutes. You get your second drink. I am drink. so tired of seeing Joy Mangano on that deal. Who? Joy Mangano. She invented that mop sh- or something stupid like that. I, I, do I want that? But she's like hawking stuff all day long. Do, it's like, do I want that mop? Buy get one, get one free. See, it's, see the additional my, shipping and wait, my... But wait, there's more. Yeah, that, my dad and I used to watch the like infomercials. Oh, yeah, I love infomercials. We, the best ones are knives. ShamWow is the best the, the, one. No, oh, yeah. Knife, oh, yeah. That was knife, great. No, the knife companies are the best when it comes to like... Against if you knives? If you watch for more than 10 minutes, like it'll they'll be like... And if you buy in the next 15 minutes, we'll give you a fourth set for free. <laughs> and you're like, oh my gosh, Just what pay else? additional shipping and handling of $15 yeah, exactly. <laughs> for a knife. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> anyway. Have you ever what? bought one of those knives? No. Is it time to hit the break? It's time to hit the break. Already? Already. Always. All right, high five. <laughs> we spent we spent 15 minutes talking about Come, nothing. Hey, live music tonight at the Crazy Fork, 8 to 11, Main Road in Mattituck. We'll be back on the Gianna Volpe Report here on 1390 WRV, your hometown station. An overhead door serves a purpose, and it should be as beautiful as the rest of your home or building. For more than 30 years, Village Overhead Doors has been creating and installing beautiful garage doors for contractors and homeowners on the north and south forks. They also install automatic garage door openers that open with the click of a remote, so there's no getting out of the car in bad weather. For a wide range of styles from lifetime steel doors to custom-made wood doors and for all your garage door needs, please call 765-4963 today and find out how your garage door can be a beautiful focal point of your home or building's exterior. Village Overhead Doors of South Oval, 765-4963. Make the call and let them add beauty and value to your home or business.
The Crazy Fork on the main road in Mattituck is the place for entertainment on the North Fork. From live comedy to music to the Revolution Number no. 9 variety shows, you'll have a good time. The Crazy Fork is comfy but classy, and the food is good. Whether you're looking for fish tacos or lobster mac and cheese, or a steak or seafood, you'll love the Crazy Fork. The Crazy Fork also serves homemade pizza and a sandwich for every taste. So don't stay home tonight. Come on out. Have some fun at the place for entertainment on the North Fork. The Crazy Fork. The Crazy Fork on the main road in Mattituck. Call 631-298-1100 for the Crazy Fork in Mattituck.